is going on guys what is going on guys it's DVD here and today I'm doing a new full playthrough of game dev tycoon and this is the steam version and the main reason I'm doing this is because they added a whole bunch of new features apparently to the steam version so I am going to be playing through the steam version that's a tribute to Greenheart games why not and I'm gonna change this to yeah let's leave it at that um 35 years yeah I'm gonna leave it 35 years um yeah let's leave it 35 years supporters support a young startup buy the game achievement unlocked and that's kind of weird the achievement actually didn't pop up properly maybe it's something to do with the resolution so I'm gonna go to settings Talk with full screen and that switches off like that. Settings talk with full screen. Yeah. Ah, let's leave it at this. Whatever, it doesn't matter. And high score, no 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 no. Oh, there's a help section now. Was this always here? Never paid attention to it. Interesting. I'll look at this all later. But for right now, let's do a playthrough, because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to be bored by doing that. So let's start with the developing a game. Yeah, we know all this. Come on. Uh huh. Pick a topic first. All right, we got airplane, school, martial arts. Wasn't it the basic four always the same? But now they changed it up. Interesting. Um, I'll go with martial arts. We got a exit action duel martial arts, maybe an RPG. Pick platform genre match unknown. Oh, that's interesting. Genre match. I'm on PC, man. PC for laugh. I'm gonna call it. What should I call it? Martial arts. Um, the art stands for Airborne Robotic Telekinesis System or something of that nature. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> and we're going to be doing our design technology stuff. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, I might want to look up the help menu really quick. Stage 1 engine. Has it been bucking up underlying technology? Good. Engines built in multiple support, video play by ballistic physics, play trucks with the game, how the game mechanics, make the rules to make the game tick or work. Okay. But then there's where for completing business games long time, so Okay, so Engine, I'm gonna slack off a little bit. I want the gameplay to be fluid. Story a little bit more. Gameplay all the way. Engine, eh. Kinda iffy. Because I don't really have any multiplayer or anything of that kind of nature. So. Okay. Yota yota yota. And. Sorry, I'm gonna have to throw up the dialogue thing again. Sorry. Don't kill me. Oh, that's cool. It actually tells you the tutorial message history, that's cool. Different phases. Oh, that's cool. That, that's a pretty handy feature. Uh huh. Part of storytelling. Attention to NPCs, don't play characters in the player. Hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Also, story arcs in the game. I'm going to drop the T's. Okay, sorry, but um, I had to look at that. Um, game design, AI. Okay, I don't know. I haven't played this in a while, so I'm not sure if the balance is exactly right or even close to good. Yep. Let's 
Sorry, I'm gonna have to pull it up again. Don't kill me. Event and try virtual track story game. It must have been believable. That's true. But I'm gonna focus on world design. Sound, I'm gonna slack off at. Actually, I never thought about it, but sound is actually pretty important in the game. Like, without me actually even realizing, there's some background music to this um, actual game right now. We're playing Game Dev Tycoon. And it's kind of catchy and I actually hum it from time to time. So, never actually noticed how important sound is to a game. Huh. Development is finished and some of the experience game. Alright. Oh, I can actually. What does that do? That oh, you can change the title. Oh, that's cool. That's a handy feature. That's pretty sweet. Trash the game. I never trash the game. Why would you do such a thing? Good topic genre combination. Swag. Steam. Pop up the achievement. And for some reason, it's like the bottom there. Oh well, whatever. No coaching coming for games in. Okay. Reviews from martial arts have come in. Seven, it's pretty solid. Seven, nice experience. Another solid review score. Seven, RPG games work well on the PC. Seven, pretty good. Overall, a straight seven. A game can invest a little bit more time. And last, creation generate. But this is new. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time and lots of creation and generate a game report. Game reports, game research points about sets of games or what the destiny. That's what, oh, that's interesting. And we'll close the message and click anyone who's going to bring up the action menu. Okay, report. Hmm. Interesting. Queen Heart Games, and you come in the game, it's just for martial arts. Okay. Whoa. That's cool. Charge number 35. Swag. And you receive income from the game weekly. Sales graph, okay. 16 fans. That's pretty cool. If you can name your fans, that would be a feature I would love to have. Like your number one fan, you get to actually bring him into the office one time and sh show him a couple of cool stuff, you know. Like how to develop a game. Help you develop a game, maybe. <laughs> uh, just complete for sure. It's a good combination. Okay. Okay, okay. That's, that's pretty cool. Focus decently on dialogue. Hmm. That's a interesting thing. Points. That's it. Topic. Zombies. No more post-apocalyptic zombies. <laughs> Thank goodness, post-apocalyptic didn't really have the zombie feel. So, I'm actually maybe forgetting, but I don't think there were zombies in the previous, like, um, non-Steam version. But maybe it was. I just didn't pay attention. Okay. Pretty sure I just named the post-apocalyptic games zombie-ish. So, maybe no longer, there's no longer a post-apocalyptic um, genre or... Topic, I should say. There we go. And I'm making money, man. I got that dough. Uh huh. Been a new topic, zombies, and we're gonna do action game, maybe strategy. I want to do action. Maybe, maybe it won't be so successful. Um, what should we name it? Hmm. I'm 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 dry for ideas, man, because I've been pretty much named it. Pretty much took up all the creative names. Zambi Rising. Come on, I know I'm lacking the creative names, but I used it up all my creative names in the previous playthrough, and I don't want to use the same names again, because I know you guys will get bored of that. Engine stories and quests. Focus a bit. Okay. I think that would do well for action game. That seems to make sense. And I think I just bumped my mic. I'm sorry. 
Don't kill me for that. And action. Dialogue not so important. AI might be. There we go. The market. Come on. Zambi Rosin. World design. How's the graphics on low and turn the sound all the way up? Crank it up. Hopefully, I've got a pretty swagged out game. So many bugs, man. I probably should have made it for the G64. Oh well. You live and you learn. Or in this case, he never actually dies, so... Pretty interesting. Handy feature. Still think that's pretty cool. Come on. Release my game. There we go. Reviews. Six could have been better. Eh, not, not too good of a game, I see. Six quirky, but good. Focus on this as a game very well. Uh, so I actually look at the change logs and apparently I think they tweaked the review system a little bit I'm not sure exactly what it's going by now, but apparently they tweaked it for the steam version So maybe that's why the scores seem a little bit more favorable Because I'm getting like six for three reviews in the straight like three reviewers each said six 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 in the previous game seven 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 all four of them said seven. So it's kind of weird I Guess um, I'm not even sure how it works anymore you went to Think the king. So yes, I did look at the change log. And I think I should generate a game report. So I can see what I did wrong and what I did right. Research points. And free research points too. <laughs> Zombies action is a great combination. Storm, Sharon, H. Yes, action sus PC. Good. Call of Duty reference right there. <laughs> Boarding for this type of game. I think I did focus decently on the AI. So, yeah. Pretty solid. And develop another game topic. Wild West. I'm going to limb here and I'm going to say it's an adventure game. Oh, action plus plus. Oh, so it actually tells you now what kind of games to do well. Adventure. Hmm. We'll find out. <laughs> it's kind of handy, actually. So that way you don't make those same mistakes and stuff. And I'm going to name it. What should I name it? I'm having trouble with coming up with some really old Western people, like action movies and stuff. Ah, why not? Indiana Jones with a Z. I know he's not really considered Wild West, but whatever. Don't judge me. If I come up with something else, I'll change it. Uh, adventure. Stories and quests, an adventure game. I think that's a decent way to go. Zambi Rosin is off the market. Generate that design points and development stage two. Dialogue not so important. Should level design is gonna important in a adventure game, I think. Dude, uh, 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 TES. Oh my God! Did you guys see that Nintendo 2DS? Oh my God! I can't believe they actually did that. Um, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing, but eh, not really. They're not trying to market it to us like geeks and the gamers and stuff. It's more for the younger generation, so I can understand why they didn't have a clamshell design, all that stuff. So eh, I just find it kind of interesting. We'll see how it sells. It's, by regards, it's not a bad gaming um, con console, if you can call that portable gaming console. We'll see how it does. I think I think it will do fairly well. 
for the game. No problem, Patrick and Daniel. I don't know if it stands, things are enjoying this. Oh, no problem. You guys rock. You guys made an awesome game. Can't wait for your next game. A bit new combo. It's not necessarily it's not necessarily a great combo, but whatever. Live and you learn. Yep, this looks pretty abysmal. <laughs> Dialogue, so Dallas is important in this game. Alright. Meh. Not bad, not good. Alright. Should probably generate a game report. Let's go. Still selling though. It's pretty interesting. Locked. Alright. So we contracts have been unlocked. Another way to generate research points. And phone results are walks which is bad combination, okay. Is that the game point? Is that the game? Okay. It's great. Alright. Going to research. Custom game engine. Come on, go. You can do it! Uh-huh, uh-huh, come on. Oh, look at that coding. Look at that coding champion. Look at that coding champion. Custom game engine. Alright, guys. I'm going to end this episode right here. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And subscribe for more Game Dev Tycoon. And leave me some game combinations to create. Uh, in the comment section and give me a name for the engine. I'll pick a random one. So Yeah, and I want to show you guys. So yeah, I want to show you guys what topics I have. These are the topics I have available and These are the genres and platforms TES G64 Oh, adventure does extremely well interesting. All right, and that's the PC so those are the consoles and all that stuff. So leave me suggestions in the comment section and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.